first one, yes? This one looks like THC. Yeah. Now, what you've got to remember about that, that C is that you won't usually see it written like that. What you're used to seeing for that symbol is that. Okay? So it's not a C, it's a T. T right, tears, which is what? No. Yeah, but what case? Right, okay. So that's our, that's our genitive. Now, two, pretty obvious, yeah? Meaning... Of the, of the, right, so that's feminine word, and there's a masculine word. Now then, what is that, I mean, that, that's saying, Ioano, that right? Yeah, Two, good, that. which is, Ioanos, yeah. is, is, is John. Okay, so it's of the, something of John, then we have Sperliniu. Now, do you remember a word, uh, a name we've heard here? Sperling. Sperling. Right, okay. So we've got of the something of John Sperling. Now then, epauleos. Okay, now I think that is the genitive noun that agrees with that genitive definite article. What do you think, Sebastian? You've been engaging in this, are you, lad? Excellent. Now, aule. Right, what's that? Good, uh, that's a Latin word, but you know, it's building, palace, epauleos, I'm guessing, is it, could we translate it portico? Aule is usually courtyard and, um... Oh, that's getting close. Uh, a, in Homer, um, do you remember the Cyclops cave? Uh, he, he, he milks his, his goats and then he leaves them out in the aule. Uh, you know, which is a sort of a, a, a sort of a paddock, a, you know, a, a sheep pen. You can use like that as well. A sheep pen, place for animals. Yeah. Yes, interesting. Is there any other words he might have used when you've got such a grand place? Might he have been, might, might he have had another word to use as a, a portico, a palace, a, a, a country house, a place that's rather... Well, yeah, well, yeah, is there, are there any other words that he might have used? Is that the only word he could have used to describe this, or is there some significance about choosing that word he might have used? To try and get it associated with animals, you mean? Possibly. So, farm or something? Oh, no, 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 I mean, bearing in mind this is a grand country house, yeah. is there another word he might have used in, to express a grand country house, rather than something to do with a cattle pen, and a, or a sheep pen, and a place for housing your animals. So a, norm, a more usual word for palace is basileia or something like that. So that might be bearing in mind how um, amazingly ostentatious this building is. Perhaps he might have used that if he had intended to. It goes into Latin as aula, which is, it always suggests some, a grand building. Anyway, there's this build, so we've got of the building of John Sperling. Now, what we've got here, pro, yeah, we have that C looking thing there. Pro Stule. Now, Stule, let's look about, um, Stule. Now, from your Latin Roman uh, history, what's a peristyle? Peristyle, is it like a peristote? Is it related? No, no, well, I mean the peri bit. Is, is uh, okay, this this word style uh, is really about columns. Okay, so a peristyle it means columns around. Okay, you might have a tetra style building, you know, which has got four columns in it, for example. Okay, um, Simon Stylites lived right on top of the columns. Right, so this prose do there. What does that suggest? A prose do there. Where, where are the columns? Yeah, the columns in front. So I think that that might well be the portico. Now, what what case is that? Nominative. Right. Good, because we haven't got an eye on the end. All right. So you've got. Um, so that looks like this is the pro style, the portico of this building of John Sterling. Now then, pro tear. Good, right, agreeing with, so this is the, the first, now, first is open for interpretation, we'll come back to that. Does that mean it's 
in front of everything else. Does it mean it was built first? Don't know. Uh, now, we've got here Architecton. An architect, alright. Now, you must remember that, that name. Latrobe. So I'm taking this BFE are his initials, are they? B.H. Latrobe. Benjamin Henry Latrobe. Right, okay. Uh, so it looks like... I wonder if we've, that we might have another look at that and see if we've got those letters right. Eh, poye. Poye What does that mean? Okay, poye is I, I make. So, eh, does what? He made it. Okay, so what we've got here is Benjamin Latrobe made. Okay. Uh, it's interesting grammatically because you'd expect that therefore to be in the accusative, wouldn't you? What he made. But it looks like he, this is a label and then we've got the architect Latrobe made it. Now, Ton, we've got some weird symbols here. Um, which I'm These dashes indicate that letters are being used as numbers. So alpha with a dash is one, for example. I'm not going to try and interpret these numbers, but I'm aware that they're numbers. Na auton, okay. Now Na autos, you probably haven't come across yet. It means a year, okay. So you, if I'm talking about numbers and a year, what are we looking at then? Probably yeah. Right, it's probably a date here, okay. Uh, the something year, Yesu Christu. Yeah, it's like AD, isn't it? Of, of Jesus Christ. Ton Deuteron, the second one, good, the second year, presumably. Tes, case, of the, of the, another uh, number, of the something or other, Olympiadas. Olympi... Olympi yeah. Yeah. Right, what is an Olympiad? Olympics? No, that's an Olympian. Yeah. An Olympiad is the period of four years. Okay, so <coughs> this is, and which is how, as you know, the ancients dating, uh, dating things, okay, is in the something Olympiad. The third year of the 14th Olympiad would be a date to the Greek. So we've got a Greek date, which presumably is the second year of this number of Olympiads, uh, uh, will correspond with that uh, with that year AD. Okay. So um, I wonder if, just taking a punt, if alpha is one, beta would be two. Phi would be twenty-three. Is it 1792? Is that a significant 1792, yes. Great. Excellent. So we reckon in, in, nine, in 1792 of <coughs> the year of our Lord, which must be that number of Olympiads plus two. 640 seconds, is it? Yeah. 647. So, then we're going to... Uh, second, 640 second yeah. Olympiad. Right. Thank you. Yeah, that beta. Now, you've mentioned the plus two. That's vital. Tom Deuteron, yes. Um, second year of the 642nd Olympia. Oh, yes, there's also, an, uh, there's also uh, something else to do with uh, two years. Because if you work out the date from whichever date it was BC when the Olympiad started... Yeah, 776. 776. Does anybody want to do the calculation? So we want 642 times 4. I think. 6, 4, 24, 25. 